All right, welcome back everyone. Look at the blue skies across the Lone Star State this afternoon. More clouds in our skies than we've seen in the last couple of days. This is a live look from Colleen at the Dodge Country Sky Live Weather Camera. And it's, it's still a beautiful but hot afternoon for us here in Central Texas. Look for those clouds to thin out this evening and temperatures are cool down to probably about 74 degrees first thing in the morning. Still looking at a light south and southeast wind around five miles an hour tomorrow. Got to shoot for a high temperature of 96 with a heat index of 102 by afternoon. I think our clouds will fill the skies and we're going to start talking about a 40% chance of showers. Wind still out of the south around 5 to 10 miles an hour, but likely will take a shift to the north in the afternoon around 5 miles an hour as that frontal system just begins to droop down into our area. We start seeing some spotty showers developing across the area. Here's what it looks like right now. Frontal boundary not quite into the Oklahoma City city limits. Just to the south of that, you got a little prefrontal trough of low pressure, a little low sitting to the north of Dallas Fort Worth right now. This whole area will slowly drift south. That's going to be the first rainmaker for us as we head through the latter stages of this week. Temperatures right now. Uh, in the upper 90s in most cases, we saw 99 degrees in Hillsboro, got up to 99 degrees in Temple and 97 in Colleen. 99 now at Waco, but we had a report of 100 degrees a little while ago. That gives us the 12th of the season. And it looks like probably the end of 100 degree heat for us with this cloud cover and rain moving in towards the end of the week. Right now, you're looking at temperatures forecast to drop off into the mid 70s by midnight tonight. Maybe a few spotty showers in the morning tomorrow, but look how things really begin to pop as we hit the afternoon hours. Instability associated with this frontal system comes our way and we start seeing widely scattered uh, showers across the region. Not anticipating severe weather at all with this, but we will see a little bit of thunder and lightning from time to time. Uh, don't anticipate any hail producers out of any of this stuff or very, really heavy rains, but uh, two tenths of an inch, three tenths of an inch of rain, not a bad uh, deal to get this time of the year. Heat index tomorrow in the upper 90s where we see the rain out to the west of us where you see a little more sunshine. Uh, the clouds not building in until later in the day. We should get up to around 100 to 102 degrees. Around the state, a lot of rain out across the Cap Rock on down into the big country in Concho Valley of West Texas. Down along the Gulf Coast, sea breeze is going to be enhanced. Still got this ridge of high pressure, but the ridge stretches from uh, the Texas Gulf Coast across the Gulf of Mexico back towards Florida is beginning to flatten out. And as that happens, it's going to open the door for the remnants of Harvey down to the Bay of Campeche to work their way towards us. Not anticipating to come our way as a hurricane or anything like that, but it does look like it will strengthen a little bit and perhaps regain tropical storm status once it gets out over the Gulf of Mexico. Here's your Channel 6 7 day forecast where your weekends always in view. Remember our Beat the Heat fan drive continues. You can make a donation at any of the area Rudy's Barbecue or at uh, your true um, Ace Hardware stores in Central Texas. Go to our website, kcentv.com, to find out more. I'll be out at the uh, Bull Buck Out in Troy on Saturday night. Hope you'll slide over and say hi. It is going to be wet for us for much of the rest of the week. 40% chances of rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wow. 80%, and that's a number we don't use very often. 80% <laughs> coverage of rain on Saturday. Uh, and it, it stays with us into Sunday and possibly Monday as well. All right, Andy, thank you very All much. Right.